Hey golfers, Drew Mahole back here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell this morning. Morning, Drew. How's it going? It's great. Uh, we're going to look at some new golf clubs here. Uh, we're at the Minnetonka Tour Van location. Uh, we're going to be checking out some of the new Mizuno irons, the MP20 line. We've got, I've got the MMC here, you've got the blades. Um, Thomas is going to hit some shots and we're going to look at some numbers and get your feedback. Well, why don't we get after? I'm really excited to test these new beauties out. MP20 sounds like it's going to be a really, really good line mm -hmm. coming come full from Mizuno. Yeah, Mizuno has been phenomenal over the years with their irons, both feel, looks, performance. Um, and you know, I've, I've seen you hit golf shots. It's always a fun uh, experience for me and I know our viewers like it as well. So we're going to get some, some real feedback here. I, I'm excited to see what happens. All right, well, let's see how they look. All right, Thomas, you got the MP20 blade, MP20 MMC. What are you going to start with here? Let's start with the MMC. Kay. Give myself a chance early to, to get myself loosened yeah. up a little so I can hit a blade there. But I like that. Yep. I like that. Let's start with the MMC. Hit like three shots with each one here. Yeah. Got pitching wedge first. That felt pretty solid. Early impressions on kind of the look and the, and the feel. Obviously Mizuno is known for, for both of those really yep. in their irons, especially the MP line. Yeah, so just kind of looking really quickly at the blade and the MMC. Um, this one definitely does look a little larger looking yeah. down at it. Uh, a little larger, a little more forgiving club. Even pitching wedge looks you know, just a little bit larger, which isn't a bad thing. Especially with swings like that. <laughs> what's uh, what's a typical carry number for you with the pitching wedge? In your I'm usually time? right around about 140. Okay. 140 carry with my current wedge. That one was definitely a miss it. That was better. Yeah, that was solid. Feels really good, really, really good. Nice and shiny, kind of looking down at it. Mm -hmm. Very shiny golf club, chrome, uh, a little larger. I'm gonna hit one more just because I had that one miss it in there. There we go. Yeah, kind of about 140 on yeah, the that, that on the last number one there. Right on your number there. Yeah, yeah, really good. I like it. You know, it's like I said, maybe a little larger. A little more forgiving club, the yeah. MMC, than oh the yeah. uh, than the blade's going to be, but good looking golf club, club looking down at. Mm -hmm. Could definitely play it. All right. I'll switch you over to the blade here. Sounds good. Now this is one beautiful golf club. Yeah, something about those blades, especially the ones yeah. from Zuno, they have, they have a unique appeal to them, for sure. Yeah. I could definitely, you know, with the MP line, definitely talk about going down a route of doing like a combo set yeah, with this yeah. for sure. Maybe do like a seven through with the MP blade mm -hmm. and maybe the MMC kind of like a four through, something like that. For sure. Yeah. Definitely think Mizuno had that in mind when creating both of these sets. Yep. Uh, to kind of have that combo possibility there for players. Yeah. This is going to look good looking club. Definitely noticeable, a little smaller looking down at. Pulled that just a little bit, yeah. It feels really soft off the face. Really soft. Really like soft, yeah. Much, like very, like a it's noticeable like difference it's from then. Buttery the off the face, yeah. It's, it is quite noticeable for me. I personally do like the look of this club a little, a lot better than the MMC, mm -hmm. just size-wise. A little thinner sure. top line. Yeah, feels really good. Nice, just kind of like the MMC. Nice shiny yeah. chrome look to it. Backside, really, you know, it's it's a beautiful. Yeah, I know that Mizuno designed the blades, uh, the MP20 blades. Uh, they kind of brought up the center of gravity as you go down. So the shorter irons in the pitching wedge, you're going to have a lower launch generally, um, which yep. is kind of, you know, more controllable uh, for those scoring shots. Uh, that's kind of what they're looking for there. And clearly, you know, saw those shots 
hitting him solid. And it looks Pretty like he gained hit. a little bit of number. Early it's a little yardage. surprising that I did hit the blade a little further. Yeah. Um, let's just get a quick show all here. Definitely hit a little further. Let me just take that one miss that I had there out. You'll notice, yeah, pretty, a little bit further with the blade. Now that probably comes yeah. down to me maybe just getting slightly more warmed up mm -hmm. here. First oh couple yeah. of swings with, with the wedge there, but yeah, really, really good golf clubs. Like them a lot. I'll get you switched to seven iron. Perfect. And then you got the MMC right now? Yep, got the MMC. All right. That was hit solid. Oh yes, it was. <laughs> a little, little overdraw on that one. Pull. What usually goes just a little bit further. Just close my face a little bit to my path. Surprised that carried 190 though. It's pretty deep. These feel really good. Yeah, I was just gonna ask. You got yeah, a couple shots down now. Uh, there's just something this? about Mizuno irons, just soft, kind of buttery. Even like yeah. the, the MMC still feels really soft off the face. Like comparatively, you'd think the MMC feels like maybe some other blades out there. It's that buttery. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mizuno does a great job with, you know, with that feel. A lot yeah. of players like to mm -hmm. have that soft feel yeah, off the face. Yeah, they have that, uh, that grain flow forging yep. process that has done wonders for them uh, yep. the past few years with their MP line especially. Didn't we just kind of talk about now they've got some like copper? Yeah, yeah, they add in the, um, in the blades, they added a copper layer. Copper layer? Okay, yes, got it. In their blades, and they did a blind test at one of the events this year, and the players all preferred the copper layer um, version of the blade. Uh, so when you, get the, when you hit the blade, you're gonna- See if it feels even softer on the face. Yeah. Between that and the MMC. Tad thin, but yeah, a little shorter. Very nice. I like these a lot. Yeah, they are very you know playable as well, workable. Now we talk about workability. Yep. Get into these blades. Yeah, gonna get and a little workability with the MP20 blade. Right. And then, like I said, this is the you got the. The blades are going to have that copper layer underneath the chrome finish, which is, again, what all these professionals during that blind test seem to prefer. So, see, there's a difference between that and the, uh, the MMC. Sounds good. Well, that's at three, of the, three with the uh, MP blade here. Okay. I'll get you switched. Okay. I could stare at these things all day. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> Love the look of new, fresh blades, nice, shiny. Oh, yeah. Can use this as a mirror. <laughs> I'm doing my hair in the morning. There you go. <laughs> nice, shiny, nice and shiny. Definitely noticeable, just a little smaller um, profile, kind of from the heel to the toe with this versus the MMC. Not quite as well struck. That was more me just hitting it a little bit heavy. Blue straight, but not quite as far. Yeah, it's directly on line. That was a little more solid. So my normal carry number with my seven irons like what 178 to okay. 180. So that's pretty so accurate right there. And then I mean the MMC you're hitting for a carry wise probably it went a little what, further five to <laughs> eight to ten maybe yeah. yards further. Yeah, I think it was what 85 to 90 how far it was carrying. So it was definitely going yeah about half a club further. It was a little heavy as well. Yeah, with a club that's maybe not quite as forgiving as well. Um, sure. 
Just, you're going to notice it on, the, on those misfits a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. You no, know, I'd probably prefer to play the blade myself all over with the 7-iron. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll notice, obviously, yeah. sacrifice quite a bit of distance there. Right. A and the, uh, the MMC's got some extra tungsten weighting, too, in the sole uh, on, the, on the 4 through 7-iron, okay. which you know, you're hitting a 7-iron, so you're going to get extra yep. both launch and then forgiveness from that as well, where you're not going to get so much from the blade in that department. So Sounds good. Uh, Notice that as well on, on at least this miss hit there yep. as well. So yep, yeah, I had no excuse there. It's not like I wasn't warming up even more and I didn't hit this <laughs> thing quite as far as well. So right, good That's looking golf cut look down. I love it a lot. I mean, it was going pretty much the right number how far I normally hit my mm -hmm. seven iron. So I'm not surprised with that. Great looking club feel was incredible off the face. Nice, same things. Just very very soft off the face. Um, good looking golf club look down it. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna uh, let's go. Uh, let's hit the tricky ones, the four iron. Tricky ones. All right. Well, not tricky for you. <laughs> tricky for me. I know that. All right. Let's jump back to the MMC. Or right, I'll get you four on the four iron. iron as well. And we'll go. Feel really, really solid. That sounded very pure as well. Yeah, look at oh, look at the carry on that one. Uh, considering I left the face a little open, that one still that was pretty good. Pretty not pretty solid. 1.47 smash factor. Wow. How often do you get that from four iron? Not very often from <laughs> four iron. <laughs> I'm lucky, you know. I'll be happy if I get that out of the driver on four iron. Guess it's gonna be that way today, leaving the face open. <laughs> well, you're not sacrificing any distance uh, from that, though. Yeah, they'll both they'll both went the same distance. All right, let's see if I can actually have one that goes straight with. The I know you iron. prefer that uh, that baby drop. Just a little draw. I like to hit it pretty straight. If anything, just turning over, like one yard. It felt a little more solid. There oh, we go. Yeah. There's the baby draw. Very nice. Then we went just a couple yards further. Yeah, that was real solid. I like that club a lot. That's a pretty far four iron right there. One four eight smash. I love it. One four eight smash with a four iron. Very good. Yeah, it feels really, really solid. All right, so let's hit three more with the MP20 blade. All right. See how that compares. This will challenge my bull striking ability here just a little bit. Feel pretty confident about it though. You struck the MMC pretty well. Swing like that last one every time, I'd be very happy. That was a good swing. Oh yeah. Now Mizuno with the, the blades and the longer irons has kind of lowered the sweet spot a little bit. This is kind of just to increase launch. Yep. To kind of add a little bit of uh, forgiveness, I suppose. I mean, what you can get out of a blade anyway um, from the four iron. But this is just, that's just their way of kind of aiding the launch. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, very few golfers can hit those solid and get them in the air, uh, you know, as well as you can, obviously. That was crushed. Right that there. was probably, that was probably my best swing of the day right there. That was <laughs> really, really good. That was pretty good too. There's that baby dryer you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, if I happen to maybe turn that over a little, it goes a little further. That was really solid. It's pretty good too. I like it. Yeah, that one I miss it just ever, just yeah. a touch. You know, okay. it got punished just a little bit. I was wondering if it was just the face speed. open or, for, or if it was yeah. uh, a miss hit. But I mean, 
you'll notice when that one that I hit here with the MMC that I left that face even more open, still yeah. went a little further. Yeah, you see. So you it is going just a little bit further with the MMC. You are getting MMC. a little bit more distance you can, or from the MMC, yeah. which is expected given the design and yep. added forgiveness out of the, the split cavity. Uh, but, uh, you know, in terms of feel, in terms of uh, looks, Mizuno has delivered here, you'd think, right? Oh, yes. These are extremely good feeling off the club face. I, I don't know how to, just very buttery. Yeah. Just, it's just, you know, it just yeah, feels which, like it's... Again, that's no surprise yeah. uh, from Mizuno. Now, I don't know if you want to, you can look at these numbers here and, and see if there's any differences. So you can see pitching wedges, they were going, both going around about the same distance, you know, right around about uh, 140 to 143. I was actually hitting the blade just a little bit further. I yeah. wonder if that is, you know, that was probably just because I was getting a little warmed up those first three swings with the blade. You know, maybe just a little less club speed. Yeah, we can even, right across I mean, yeah, there. it looks like yep. you a little slightly higher with the smash factor there yep. as well, so that could be part yep. of that. A little higher ball speed. speed. So I was just hitting a little more solid. Um, yeah, we noticed my club speed yeah, was club one speed mile a little an hour faster. faster. Um, yeah, so I definitely was going just a tad further just because of that. You know, 140 is kind of my pitching wedge number, mm -hmm. so I'm not too surprised that it was kind of right around 140. Now, um, one thing I've noticed kind of right away here, even with not going up to seven iron, is your ball speed was up by five miles an hour with the MMC. Yeah. Um, and then obviously smash factor as well. That's partially due to maybe a miss hit in there as well, but. Um, and that's, again, that's, these differences are, are kind of expected. You know, you're supposed to hit the blades a little shorter. Yep. Um, but be able to work them a little bit better. What would you kind of do for yourself here? You know? For myself? It, yeah, because it's, I mean, it's, again, this is, it's all about preference and how you play. And I know you're a very skilled ball striker. So, you know, in a four iron, for example, do you prefer a blade or do you prefer like a split? I haven't played a blade four iron for about five years. Okay. Um, I just went back to doing a combo set with my current irons. Okay. So I, this is definitely something that I would be very, very interested in looking yeah. at. Probably six or seven iron would probably be the cutoff for me. Okay. You know, I did hit the blade four iron very, very well. You can see it. It was, yeah. it was up there kind of numbers wise. But for peace of mind, you know, on those cold days when I'm maybe not hitting quite as well, you know, you know I would probably prefer maybe the MMC sure. four or five, possibly six iron. Um, I currently transition at seven iron right now with my set, so I'd probably keep that pretty consistent. Sure. I mentioned seven iron is the one where I start kind of really kind of pin seeking. Six iron, I may just tend a little bit more towards the safe side of the green when I'm playing outside. Mm -hmm. So seven iron through wedge, I'd probably be looking at. And then, you know, the one thing we did notice is the seven iron with the MMC went quite a bit further mm -hmm. than the blade. So we may have to tweak the loft. I'm not sure how, you know, how it works with you know the combo set, just a little bit to try and keep that consistent 12 to 15 yard gap between each yeah. club. Um, yeah, but really, really good. You know, that's the one thing I just noticed. The seven iron just did go just a little bit further yeah. with the MMC than the blade. So yeah, definitely. There's a, I mean, uh, probably what five ish to ten. Yeah, what was the carry? Of, so of 176 versus yeah. 187. So 11 yards. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, that's yep. pretty significant. I haven't looked yet because we just got these today, but I'm going to guess the MMC 7 iron is probably slightly stronger than the Blade sure. 7 iron as well. Maybe that would make one sense. Maybe 1 or 2 degrees. That would probably make sense mm -hmm. as well why it was going a little further. Um, and then with the 4 iron, did you, you notice anything here with the numbers in particular? I think I just felt really good with both of them. Obviously, the MMC was maybe just, when I left that face a little open, still yeah. held its distance. Okay. So forgiveness-wise, that was you know one thing I definitely noticed. I, a couple of those were a little off. Yeah face was a little so you're open. thinking even a couple of those with the MMC that were maybe left open, if yeah. they were straightened out, you'd think those carry numbers So if these two here yeah. had been moved over this way a little bit, they would have been kind of up in this area yeah. here. Yeah, okay. You know, these two here with the blades, they were going further because they were turning over a little bit less Yeah, spin. So, so definitely so a couple of yards of carry yeah. there is you're kind of yeah. sacrificing by going to a blade, um, but definitely, you know, good results, clearly. Yeah, I hit them really good. I mean, I hit the forearm probably as good as I could mm -hmm. today. That was that felt really, really good off the face. I think you know I force myself every time I get a forearm blade to really make sure I yeah. hone in on. Kind of got to focus. Face. Yeah. So I definitely kind of, for me, when I get smaller face, try and focus on that. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to have to do that every time. It's, it's <laughs> a lot of hard work. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Thomas, you got to hit shots with uh, six different irons. You got uh, the four iron, seven iron, a pitching wedge uh, with each model.
Um, you know, I know, you talked a little bit about a combo set possibility with these models, and I think that's what Mizuno really was going for here, was kind of giving golfers that chance. Um, what was your feedback? Yeah, so I definitely noticed, starting with pitching wedge, a little larger with the MMC. Mm -hmm. Blade looked exceptionally good looking down at for me. You know, absolutely, I would definitely be playing the blade pitching wedge. Um, the MMC just a little larger from kind of heel to toe. Both felt incredibly off the face, though. I mean, that's one thing I, across the board with both of these two irons, the feel, buttery feel off the face, you know, you, you, just, can't, you just can't beat it. It's really, right. really good. Um, seven iron with both of them, I, you know, hit the MMC really far. We definitely went about 11 yards further, I think, than what I was hitting the, the blade. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that comes down to maybe the loft on the MMC is maybe slightly stronger, but it was a little more forgiving. And then four iron versus four iron, you know, the blade forced me to hit some good shots. I feel, you know, I, I, I wouldn't feel maybe as confident with the four iron blade in my bag. So we talk about combo, you know, I'd probably be looking at four, five, six with the MMC and then go on seven through pitching wedge with the blade. Just that's the way mm -hmm. I would design my bag. I feel more comfortable with seven iron to go out the flag, seven iron with the blade in, in the bag. Right, and that's kind of how you were, you were saying that that's kind of where you would um, start that the split in the combo set um, when you would fit customers, for example, would be kind of, okay, which iron are you comfortable going at the flag, right? That's, uh, yep. that's kind of the process that you fitters would use for that, right? Yeah, being able to work the ball both ways. So a blade gives you a little bit more of a luxury to mm -hmm. work ability. You don't quite get that maybe with the MMC quite as much. You know, yes, they are workable, but you know, when you're starting a pin seek with something that's a blade that's in a, in a little, little stronger loft, like a four or five iron, you know, you miss it, so you're gonna you, you you're not gonna get yeah. rewarded. You're gonna as get well. punished yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, again, like you said, you know, if you're trying to go after that pin that's on the right, hidden by a bunker, uh, you're gonna be able to do that a lot, a lot better with a blade versus the MMC. Um, and then we noticed too in the MMC, you got extra tungsten weighting in the sole, which helped both on the seven iron and the four iron. We noticed yep. uh, with the numbers that you're getting a little bit more distance. Miss hits weren't, uh, you know, you weren't hurt as bad for the miss hits as well, but. Um, so there's a little bit of difference there and it kind of gives golfers those options for that combo set that you mentioned. Um, so golfers out there, uh, if you're interested in the Mizuno sets, the MP20, MMC, MP20, MP20 Blade, I would suggest talking to a fitter at Second Swing, uh, Thomas Campbell for example. Uh, schedule your custom fitting and uh, pre-order your set because these are going to be you know, some of the best irons on the market. I think we can agree with that, right? I would totally agree.